I ride with Equine Pathways Australia. It's a very freeing thing a lot of the time. It doesn't rely on my legs, it relies on his. I dance at Victorian College of the Arts Secondary School. It feels like you're living through your body. You feel a lot more alive. Morgan and Bridget met in that first program for children with cerebral palsy. Part of the All Play program is to include older and more experienced buddies to enable the children with disability to participate in the program. It was really evident that she was going to have a great a great time. The girls that she was paired with, which Morgan and Catherine, and Catherine were, were beautiful and um, she just had the best time. I was petrified at the start. I was like, oh my god, what is this? But then, then we started and I'm like, Oh, this is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> this was so fun and we, we sort of clicked instantly. You don't often dance with a wheelchair or a walker and have to walk, like move around that and whatnot. But we figured it out and we figured it out really well, I think. It taught me kind of that everybody can enjoy dance and everybody deserves to enjoy dance. And I think that in a way all play has like opened up my mind in terms of what dance is. Children who participate in dance and sport have such better outcomes compared to children who never get that opportunity. So all play dance gives a platform for the community of the young children with disabilities and the young children without disabilities to create the dance and to tell us um, what it should look like. It was so special because she, made, she really did make me feel very accepted to see this like fully able-bodied person just completely ignore the walker or the wheelchair. We would just work together to, to do what we thought was fun. I never thought it would evolve so much. I thought that that first program was the end and then no, we went to, to Marvel Stadium and danced at Marvel Stadium, which I still <laughs> think is crazy to say. And then we did a thing with Humphrey Bear not too long ago. I didn't quite think we would be doing so many different things together. Dance can bring people together. Being able to kind of bring dancing to everyone I think is important because everybody serves to enjoy dance. It's so important because there are so many things about um, living with a developmental disability or challenge that you can't do anything about, you know. But this is something, this is something that is cost effective. This is something that makes kids happy. This is something we can do tomorrow that could literally change the lives of children, not just in Australia, but all around the world. With any kid, with whether they've got a disability or not, you just want them to have experiences that are, are, are somewhat different, perhaps. And, and also see what um, a professional dancer's life looks like. Even though they're young dancers, they, they train like professional dancers and, and they live their dream. There's a lot of commitment, even at a really young age, and so I think to see that for Bridge, is, it was really good that um, you know, if you really have a dream and you really have a passion, that it takes a lot of hard work, um, and, you know, and she's showing that you know, her path is different now um, with, with the horse riding, but it's still going to take that same commitment and that same passion um, to get where you want to go. We're both, I guess, are trying to strive similar things in, yeah, a way. in a way and we can yeah take kind of what we've learnt from all play into our kind of respective yeah. lives. Everything you know can stem from the same thing yeah. and you just kind of have to experiment. Now I'm striving to do it as a professional and um, aiming to get into a ballet company but also work in the community. All play has helped my feelings with how dance sits in the world how you know you can bring political ideas into dancing like being more kind of inclusive and so that you know more people can have the joy of dance. Being a part of this Equine Pathways team to be there you have to have a disability but it doesn't define you and it just it just is a common ground that we all share. People often put a limit 
on a disability. It brings a lot of opportunities. My biggest long-term goal for the future is the Paralympic Games and to keep doing things that show people that a disability can bring opportunities that you wouldn't expect.